Hey guys, it's Alicia Payne of Alicia Payne Lifestyle and Consulting, and today's topic is all about the circle of concern versus the circle of, con of control, excuse me. And so I'm going to do a little demonstration, a little drawing to kind of give you a visual of what that looks like so you can determine whether you're living in the circle of control or the circle of concern that is stopping you from doing whatever it is that you want to do, whether starting your own business, building better relationships with people, we are going to do a visual of what that looks like so that you can begin to make your circle of control bigger than your circle of concern. So what we're going to do is we're going to start with a simple little circle and that's going to represent our circle and our environment and the things that go on around us and so we end up having all these little things out here that worry us that don't have anything to do with what we're supposed to be doing whether it's starting our own business or doing a better job at our nine to five whatever so we have out here you're worried about what you're gonna eat what your mama doing what's going on on TV you have all that stuff going on around here and your circle of control is kind of this little bitty circle right here and so you're allowing all of these things on the outside to kind of control and push against you instead of you being an influence on what happens to you you're allowing these other things on the outside to kind of press against you and delay whatever it is that you're supposed to be doing so you know basically we just end up allowing the things that are going on in the environment to compress us in whatever capacity so that is the circle of concern so when you're talking about the circle of control obviously it's sort of the reverse of that so the circle of control is where you eliminate essentially your worry and how you react to the things that are going on around you in the environment because they don't go away you just change the way you allow them to affect you so here is your circle of control so as you can see the circle of control is a lot bigger than the circle of concern or where your circle was initially so that means that you are the thing that is reacting on the things that are outside of this circle and you in essence control the way that things happen to you and you can also control the way that you respond to them so that in essence allows you to be more effective in whatever it is that you are venturing out to do so this is you in the middle of course a little sideways but you kind of can control what you allow to happen to you and what you allow in your circle and so in that way you actually are the the influencer or the force that is pressing against the things that kind of happen to you on the outside and like I said it, this can work at whatever capacity uh, that it needs to whether it is for relationships what is whether it's for your personal life for your uh, for your job for your business that you're trying to start whatever so when you um, understand how these things influence you, then you will be able to better control what goes on around you. So that was just a little tip. Once again, Alicia Payne at Alicia Payne Lifestyle and Consulting. If you guys want more information and more free classes, um, you can visit the website at aliciapayne.com. And I'll talk to you guys next time.